Today we're going to take another deep dive into unemployment insurance, UI, the unemployment benefits, because there seems to be some confusion. So I'm going to answer some questions uh, from readers' comments that we've gotten on the video, and um, also going to provide some information about certification. And stick around, because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you the result of my appeal, which is actually very interesting. Hey everyone, good morning. It is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. And uh, no, I've not received any money yet. Still, uh, still waiting. But I've got an update on those debit cards, where they are. They are in transit, yes. So uh, we're going to jump on the computer and uh, get right into it. All right, let's get started. So uh, the first topic is certification. So uh, we've had a lot of uh, readers say you don't need to certify because of COVID-19. So I just want to uh, put a little fine point on this and uh, explain what I did, which seemed to work really well. So this is in California, and it may be true in other states, but they're saying you don't need to certify for the weeks of uh, uh, March 14th through May 9th due to, due to the illness, right? They're saying they're just accepting that you can't work because of, of what's going on with the pandemic. All right, so what is certification? If you don't know what certification is, in most states, you need to, um, for most weeks, you need to prove that you're actually able to work and that you've been looking for work. And you have to put down uh, some businesses that you've approached uh, to get your job and, and tell them that, you know they weren't hiring. And I made a previous video about uh, that and went over in some detail. Um, for the California um, certification process. Now, there's also, uh, uh, if you applied on the 28th in California, you were told you didn't need to certify until May uh, 23rd. So my recommendation is you certify, and you certify for all weeks. So uh, my, my claims uh, started the first week in February, and um, so I certified um, with, with two, two companies for each week um, up through March 14th. Then I continued to certify um, for March 14th all the way through, um, but I didn't put any businesses. So it was really fast, but um, I still went through and certified um, that I was, I was able to work. And it seemed to make things go faster. Okay? So it seemed that once I did that, suddenly all the money was starting to show up in my account. So that's my recommendation. It's, uh, maybe it's not necessary. But you definitely need to certify for the dates before March 14th, and then um, May, uh, the week ending May 9th. So that's this week. So then you're going to have to certify starting next week, uh, because we'll be past this this uh, grace period. Okay. So that's it on certification. Let's look what some of the readers um, have said. Um, this is from the video I did uh, earlier in the week. The requirement to look for a job has been lifted for now. <clears throat> okay, so we just covered that. And that will expire at the end of this week. Um, guess what, my friend? I just got my grant from the EIDL, $1,000. All right, so a lot of people uh, made $1,000 based on video. Uh, the video I made about how, to, how easy it was to go sign up for the EIDL. We're getting a lot of uh, thanks. You, you made me $1,000. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Okay, here's an interesting one. I applied for and was approved for a PPL loan last Friday as an IC. I was told I should get money in the next few days. Okay, so I was told I was approved also um, two weeks ago. Um, I was not told when I would get my money. So they still have to, um, uh, I have to sign a closing document and provide them with a avoided check. But um, I contacted Lendio. And Lindio said um, they're just backed up due to the incredible volume. So just sit tight. Okay. Is it true we don't have to certify March 14th through May 9th? Yes, uh, Clay Law. Lau. Yes, you do not have to certify. But as I said, I would still go in there, certify, but just don't put any, um, you know, any companies that you approached. Just skip that part. Um, but just go with the, uh, uh, you know, no, no, yes, no, no, no uh, answers. Okay, I don't think I'll mess with any loans. This is from Brandon. Um, I'm approved for EDD, and by July, when the 600 runs out, I expect to be back driving. Okay, what I'm not sure of yet is are the loans forgiven and how, and how they are, and if getting the loans will mess with unemployment. Yeah, so that's a good question. 
Um, my, my short answer is that the PPP loan is uh, supposed to provide payroll for two and a half months. So if I were to get the PPP, I would um, use the two and a half months starting in February, February, March, half of April, and then um, I would start my unemployment benefits mid-April and let it run until I, I go back to work. Um, next one, job search requirements have been waived under current circumstances. Yes, and that ends um, this week. I just received my PPP loan. I'm a Lyft driver. All right, so we're starting to hear from some people that said they actually got their PPP loan. Um, I don't know why mine is taking such a long time, uh, but congratulations, uh, Patton. Hey, Jane, right sugar, I wanted to send uh, this for you. For the third question, it says on EDD California website, notice due to we're not required to. Okay, great. Um, so that's the same issue we've been, we've been um, talking about. Um, I got mine today, EIDL, 1,000 in my account today. Yippee. All right, uh, KL, awesome. I got unemployment in Texas, and I'm reporting a few hours, and I'm working delivering groceries, and they still send me the payment. Right on. Um, I received my PUA today, Cassie Smith. Fantastic. All right, I hope you're enjoying the video. Just want to take a minute here to invite you to like it. Just hit that little thumb up. That'll uh, make it easier for other people to see this video. If you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, subscribe. We put out great content four or five times a week. And definitely turn on notifications. And that way when we do our next YouTube Live, you'll be notified and uh, you won't miss a thing. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, so what's happening uh, around the country? Uh, Oregonians still waiting for unemployment checks. Frustration grows, all right? Californians are still waiting for their... Uh, <laughs> their debit cards okay so uh yes frustration grows for sure it's been over three months since the beginning of february new maryland unemployment claims will be paid this week all right so this looks like a big week it seems like a lot of people are going to get their money this week or next week uh so maryland excellent excellent news uh for for you guys um illinois wow 1099 workers apply for regular unemployment benefits before PUA program goes live. So they're really making you jump through some hoops there in Illinois. You have to apply for regular unemployment then uh, before the PUA program goes live. And the PUA program to launch on May 11th. So I guess they're saying get in the system and then, uh, and then when it goes live on May 11th, which is next Monday. Um, so you're going to be waiting a while. Further in the article, it says workers who believe they may be eligible for new federal benefits under PUA must first apply for regular unemployment before applying for the benefits under PUA when a new application portal opens on May 11th via the EI IDES website. So quite a few little uh, hurdles there for Illinois, the Chicago. Although I've had some Chicagoans say they, they have been paid. So it's a, a, a very fluid situation there in Illinois. All right, um, in California, uh, I got this in the mail. So this was a uh, paper document that was mailed to my home. And it basically said that um, uh, I was getting paid 167 a week um, for the full 39 weeks. All right, and this was mailed on 5-5. Five, five. I got it uh, yesterday on 5-6. So pretty great. Okay, so you might have gotten that. This really just is what... You can also find on the website, I showed you that last uh, earlier in the week. Now, a uh, friend of mine, uh, she uh, was looking around on the website and she found this. Um, what to do if you haven't received your EDD debit card? So most, most Californians have not received their EDD debit card if you applied on the 28th. And she went ahead and called that number there, okay? And she got through to a person, and the person said that the cards, uh, if you did it on the 28th, were mailed out on the 1st, which was last Friday, um, priority mail. And that we should expect them early next week, which would be like the 11th and the 12th. I don't know why priority mail. Priority mail sounds like it should be a little bit faster than that. I'm uh, hopeful it's coming today, tomorrow, or Saturday, but... You know, if it's early next week, it's early next week. The money's the money's there in our accounts, um, so we uh, we just got to be patient.
Yep. All right. And the big news. This is very interesting. Uh, so what happened here? I applied. I applied back in March for unemployment. I said I worked for Lyft. I said uh, Logan Green was my 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 boss, my direct supervisor. And uh, it took like a month later, sometime last month in April, I was called by a woman from um, the EDD. On my phone, it said unknown. Right, so I went ahead and answered it, and uh, she asked me. She had me on the phone for about a uh, half an hour, and she asked me all kinds of questions about my interaction with Lyft. You know, um, did I have to drive to Lyft specifications? Um, you know, did they control how much I got paid per ride? Um, did they tell you where to go to pick up the person? Think all all kinds of questions like that. And then a few days later, I canceled the. Um, I canceled the uh, cl the uh, appeal because I was going to apply for the PUA. But then I got this in the mail just yesterday, and I cut out this part because I wanted to share it with you. It says, claimant provided services as a driver and was determined to be a common law employee pursuant to Section 621B of the CUIC and Section blah, 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 um, and a subject employee pursuant to... okay. Payments were okay. So basically, um, and then I did not provide any 1099s because, I, like I said, I withdrew it. Um, but basically, what they're saying is that if I wanted to get regular unemployment benefits, um, they see me as a common law employee um, based on um, the determination of this woman wh whose job it is is to determine whether somebody is an employee or an independent contractor. So when I answered all of her questions, um, her determination was, yes, you are an employee. So that's very interesting. Um, I'm forwarding this to my attorney because um, it's, it's a little more proof that I, I am an employee and, and more, more an employee than an independent contractor. Even though Uber and Lyft still classify us as independent contractors and California law says we are actually employees and now there's a big legal fight um, going on over that. So pretty interesting though, yeah? I think so. All right, so what are the key takeaways here? Well, <clears throat> we need to be patient. We're, uh, if you're in California, things are a little better than other states. If you're in a state like Louisiana, things are really good. And some states uh, haven't even been able to apply yet uh, for the PUA benefits. So be patient, that's the first one. And then there definitely seems to be a tide turning. As you saw, I could be classified as a employee of Lyft, right? That's quite staggering. And then just yesterday, uh, the, s the state of California uh, took uh, Uber and Lyft to court over misclassification. So they've got a real battle in front of them, Uber and Lyft do. And hopefully when it all, the dust settles, it means something like this happens again, we'll be employees and we'll get benefits and we won't have to wait three months for it. That's my key takeaway. Thank you so much for watching. I'm very grateful uh, to be able to bring you all this information. I hope you go out and have a beautiful day. If you've not subscribed, subscribe. Sign up for notifications. Get notified of our uh, YouTube lives. And I'll see you out on the road. Y'all be safe out there.